Hi, Orange Girl here with another scrapbooking video for you. This time I'm working with a page kit by the Button Farm Club, and it's the Spring House, Spring Farmhouse Page Kit. And so we're going to be making two two-page spreads today. Um, I always start off by looking at the directions and going ahead and cutting everything out first. So there's only a couple little tricky parts. One of them is when you go for the three by four cards, you want to make sure you cut off the whole bottom row of that before you do any of the other cutting because all of the cards that you're going to need are from that. Likewise, with this two by two sheet here, you just need the bottom two rows. Um, you'll need cards off of those. Um, and I'm going through this really fast because all the directions are right there. There isn't really anything all that tricky as far as cutting things out. Um, what a couple of tricks that I do is that as I'm creating, as I'm cutting these things out, you can see that I'm laying some in a pile over on the right, and I'm laying in some in a pile on top. Um, those are the two different two by two spreads. So as I'm working then I can just take the whole pile on the right and make my two page layout and the whole pile on the left and or not left the top and make my two page layout. So we're going to start with the one called home and that's this two page spread and you go ahead and you're just going to take the um, paper that you've already pre-cut and add that um, but the little birdie paper to the right on the left side, I'm sorry, and you're going to have like, I'm not measuring everything, but it's about a, um, a quarter, I mean, a half an inch on each side. Same thing with the yellow striped paper. And then the green paper goes from top to bottom all the way. And so does that striped paper strip that you cut off. Then that is where my pictures will go. So I'm just adding those. Um, I just have those pre-cut and then adding this three by four card and I added a two by two card at the bottom as well that has the little heart on it. And then it tells you in there exactly where to place each of the chipboard pieces. So up um, there's a bird up on the card, there's the bread um, like hanging thing <laughs> that's up on the right of the picture and then a little heart and then a bunch of little flowers. Now it, the flowers, I used both um, chipboard flowers as well as um, the die cut flowers and mine are pretty close to what you'll see in the picture but they're not exact and it really doesn't matter. It just, I think in the directions it pretty much just says put some flowers on there and so that's what I did. So now we're going to do the other side, the left side of the spread, I'm sorry, the right side, and I'm doing the same thing. So just a, like a quarter of an inch on either side um, for um, the bird paper and the striped paper, and then the green goes from the top to the bottom. And that I just realized here that I had forgotten to cut something. It is so much easier if you cut it all out at the beginning, but I had just forgotten something, so I had to recut something. So that green and that striped paper go from clear from the top to the bottom. The green paper is going to go, I believe it says like um, five inches or something like that from the right edge or whatever. It tells you exactly, I believe it's five inches. And I did kind of measure that, but I was more trying to use my straight edge there to make sure that the papers were straight. That was another thing that I would recommend is having something to kind of make sure that things are straight. If you care about that sort of thing, which um, in this kind of a design I do. Sometimes when I'm creating, um, I don't, but this has so many straight edges in it that I do kind of care about a little bit. So there's two of the three by four cards. One is um, to house your um, journaling and then there's a chipboard piece there and I'm going to add the home chipboard piece as well and I love the little clips that have the paper bows on them they're adorable okay so now it says add some flowers and so that's what I'm going to do so I add some chipboard flowers and then on some of these paper flowers I'm going to go ahead and pop 
them up. And I'm going to show you in a second how when I do this, sometimes I pop up one of the flowers and then I put one of the other flowers kind of flatter underneath it. And that's going to, I'm going to show you that in just a second. This page is almost finished. There, this is how I kind of put one underneath. It just adds a little bit of dimension. And there's that two page spread. Here are a few close ups. One, that's the left side and then the right side. And then a few close-ups are coming up here. And then we're going to get started on the next two-page spread. So I've pre-cut everything for the next spread. You can see where I popped up some things with pop dots there. This one's called Gather Beauty. And um, I'm going to start by adding some adhesive to the back. And this one is about a half an inch on the left and about a half an inch at the top, maybe a little bit more. And then I'm going to do the same thing here with that I've been doing. Now notice I do keep my directions close by because I want to make sure that um, I have them, even though I have an idea of how it goes, like just from seeing the photograph, it does give very step-by-step -step directions. And so it says, for example, to have it two inches from the right or whatever. And then it tells you also the order so that this page right here with all the words on it can go over the top of um, the other papers because that's the way they want it to look. So some of these papers are go all the way 12 to, from the 12 inches from the top to the bottom. Some of them do not. Some of them um, are hanging out a little bit um, in the middle like you can see that pretty paper that is over on the far left. It doesn't go from the top to the bottom. So that's when I use my straight edge to try to make sure that it's straight. When I'm making the other ones, you know, as long as you've got it straight at the top, then it's pretty much going to be straight, you know. All right. So um, once I get all of these different strips that I pre-cut, which really makes it so much easier to do. Once I get all of those taken care of, then I can start adding my photos and some of my embellishments to the page. So for this one, um, I went ahead and um, already off camera, I matted my two four by six photos on black. Um, I used black cardstock because um, I accidentally cut the other black um, that came in the kit wrong. Um, and so I just wasn't thinking and when I, so I, since I cut it wrong, I thought oh, I'll just go ahead and back all of the stuff with just black cardstock instead. So the black cardstock does not come in the kit, but there will be black paper that does come in the kit for you to use. Um, like I said, I made a mistake, so I just improvised a little bit. So now I'm popping up this big cluster of flowers and putting it over on the right bottom side of my um, photograph or where my photograph will go and then I'm just adding um, a bunch of other little die cut flowers now um, some of these like just like the other page some of them I am popping up and some of them I am not um, I think the directions kind of tell you to pop pop them all up um, but it doesn't you don't really need to do that and I like the look of having um, some dimension. So some of them are popped up and some of them are flat against the page. And once I add all these little flowers here, then we'll get ready to do the other side. So here's the other side. I'm going to do the same. I'm kind of just mimicking the same thing on the other side. So this needs to go about a quarter of an inch from the top and from the side. I'm using my straight edge to try to make sure that it is straight. I'm also pulling that other page up there to make sure it's about um, even so that it looks about right when I put the two pages together. So you can see I measured there um, because it tells you to put it a certain um, length over. So I went ahead and did that and now I am adding this paper just over the top. And so like I said when I have that 12 by not 12 by 12, but when it, it goes from top to bottom, the whole length of the page, then you don't need to use the ruler as much. But I like to use it when um, I have those pages that are hanging out in the middle, because I always get them crooked. I just, especially when I'm videotaping, because when I'm taking video, um, I don't get, I can't be right over the top of it, otherwise my head <laughs> would be in the way and you wouldn't be able to see. 
So this one has two three by four photos on it. Um, and then it has two square two by two photos also, which is kind of unique. I like that. So this um, is kind of a grid design with a little bit quirkiness in that fourth part of the grid, which I like. And then it has a few different chipboard pieces. That one says simplify. And then another one is that arrow, which I really like. And it uses another one of those awesome bows. Okay, so I'm going back and forth and referring to my directions, but that is one of the two by two pieces that I pre-cut. And now, last but not least, I'm going to add some pop dots and add some more flowers. Um, for this, actually, both of the two page spreads, a lot of times the flowers are just kind of around the edge of the photograph, which is really pretty. It look, ends up looking really nice. I like the way this kit is set up. One of the things that's nice about these kits is you don't have to think about where to place everything. It totally tells you how to do it. If you pre-cut things in advance and use um, the directions, then it goes really quickly as well to put them together. So there you go. There's the final um, project there, the left side and the right side, and here comes some close-ups. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and check out the Button Farm Club. They have many Simple Stories kits available right now, and I have another one on my desk right now getting ready to do a video for you soon. Thanks.